Hey, I just wanted to take this moment to make a video because I'm feeling very, very vulnerable. I've had an extremely rough day. I don't have any makeup on because I've been crying a lot. When you make a decision to live your life differently than how everyone else lives their life and you're like, it's like you're swimming upstream. <laughs> And it's like you're going against the grain and, and you're doing something different than what society does, the majority of people and um, what people think you should be doing and, you know, living your life in a way that that is contrary to where, like, how most people do it. You get a lot of slack. I mean, people, we have these mindsets and they, we think things need to be a certain way and they have to fit inside this box. I have a very close family member that came to visit us out here primarily just to come and tell me that I was going to live my life. I was going to do this. Like he was trying to control me and tell me, you know, that because I'm not living life the way that he feels like that I should or his idea of how life needs to be or to be an adult or like a functional member of society and have all of these liabilities and a big house and and cars and land and you know like all of this stuff like I don't want stuff I would if if I want to live in a 13 foot trailer pulled by my Subaru that's my life I can do that like I don't have to have a lot of stuff I don't have a 13 foot scamp we have a 32 foot trailer uh, RV trailer fifth wheel and a diesel truck which right now that to us feels a little bit excessive that feels a little bit extra like this feels like it's almost too much you know for what we're trying to do we're trying to pay our debts off trying to pay our debts off so we can be debt free and we can travel and live in as minimally as possible and that just drives a certain family member of mine like it drives him bananas that I don't want to buy my own house. Like, you don't want to own your own house? You're 41 years old, and you don't own your own house. And I'm like, no, and I probably never will. Like, I don't want to. Why should I have to? You know, I'm not asking you for anything. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not even asking you for your support. I am asking you, however, for respect and that you don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to say that people can try to control you and people can, can try to manipulate you and pressure you into doing something their way, even though if you don't feel like it in your heart and you try to explain it to them, it's just like, I can understand that there's different perspectives. From this person's perspective, we're being irresponsible. From this person's perspective, you know, I'm a loser, I'm a nobody, and it's just like, it's just like a really hard journey because I'm really honestly trying to live my life and stay faithful to my heart and do me and what makes me happy not only what makes me happy honestly like I want a hundred percent be where God wants me to be and I feel like God wants me to live my life in a way that brings some glory but also in a way that I'm true to my heart you know and I don't want a lot of stuff I don't want excess I don't want a boat I don't want a lot of crap in my house or in my RV. I don't want a lot of clothes. I buy stuff from the thrift store. I can't even tell you when I even bought anything from the thrift store last. You know, I don't buy a lot of stuff. And it doesn't make me a child. It doesn't make me irresponsible because I don't want to work 70 hours a week so that I can have a bunch of liabilities hanging over me, keeping me trapped in this box to where like I can't go and do what I want to do because I'm tied down to all of these things and responsibilities now if that's irresponsible I don't see it but maybe if it is then okay let me be irresponsible why do you need to impose your 
ideas and your perspective of how life should be on me or someone else. So I just wanted to say that living alternatively, you know, this is the dark one dark side of it. Not everyone's going to understand it. Not everyone's going to support it. <laughs> but you have to be confident about it in your heart. You have to know that this is what I want to do and why. Because otherwise people will come and they'll have you second guessing yourself. They'll have you, you know, like really confused and down on yourself and um, feeling shameful about it, your decisions. But the thing is, is if you're confident in yourself and you know what you wanna do, no one can take that away from you. No one can take your peace and you'll just have to go. And sometimes it might be lonely, you know? Like sometimes you might lose friends. Um, but yeah, I'm a person who's willing and open to listen to feedback. I wanna be self-aware, I wanna grow as a person and I want to learn to love well, but um, I just don't feel like people should try to control others. That's all, I just wanted to share that. So a second ago I got interrupted, um, um, but yeah, I just wanted to encourage you to live your dream and live your life for you and no one else. And um, that doesn't mean like, abuse other people or you know take advantage of people or you know just to like fulfill your own selfish needs I just mean that like if you have a dream and you have goals and something that you want to accomplish then you just need to go after it despite like if you have the support that you want or just feel like you need um, regardless of if you have someone backing you just go after your dreams and go for it and live your life um, in a way that pleases you as long as it doesn't hurt other people and so I just want to leave you with that